you know I'd be hurting feelings. But that's just a byproduct when you are the Ultra Maximus, and that is the reason why you follow me for that honesty in comics, that integrity in comics. Welcome, everybody, to another fun episode of The Secret Variant. I am here to break it all down for your FOC worries. Need to fly out the window, because you know why? We don't do that FOMO thing here, because Ultra gives you all the details you need to make that FOC decision. So this is your secret variant. This is your FOC breakdown. Please subscribe to the content that we do on this channel. Leave me a comment if you're watching on the Rewind, of course. Help me break those algorithms. And click that notification bell for notifications for when we do go live, of course. Because uh, set schedules are for... Not, not me. Like and share the video. Much appreciated when you do. And of course, uh, the thankfulness for 1,100 plus of you is the Ultra Box giveaway. Which... Uh, I am going to get rid of here soon. I, I got to get it out of my house. It's, it's at that point now. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you guys are great, and the Ultra Box giveaway is going to satisfy, as well as the next episode of the Raw Report. I got to get my shit together, though. And once I get my shit together and I get that Raw Report up, you guys uh, should come tune in and uh, come see what I got for you as far as goods go. Now, the rest of these guys over here on the subscribe uh, feature channel section, you know, hit them up. Follows are always appreciated. Whether you follow me on Facebook, on IG, or on Twitter, you can find all the links right there on the channel homepage. And of course, let's not forget our buddy Carl Casey at White Bad Audio, dropping the tunes. Subscribe to their content here. They also got a Spotify channel. They also are on their own website, WhiteBadAudio.com. Details in the description. Heard us, Eric, giving me the logo work of the uh, I don't know the Millennium because look at that. I mean, really. Super Chat is inactive, but you know what? If you want to support what we do here at the Ultra Maximus channel, you can paypal.me slash Ultra Maximus, and 100% of those proceeds will go to Ultra. What's up, everybody? Yo, Cherokee Metal in the house. Fire, everybody. What's up, I am the Ultra Maximus, and you are joining me here uh, in my empire of dirt. And I am here to uh, join you for just a little bit of a, a conversation that we're going to have about Final Order Cutoff. Because the reason why you're joining me here on this channel for this show, uh, basically the only show I'm doing on my channel right now, because, uh, you know, I'm having a hard time with life, but uh, suffering in silence. I'm a man. But uh, nonetheless... The reason why you're watching this show right here is because you order comic books on a regular and you do not like it when the show bags see that there's a hot book coming and they, they do a fake sale and then they make you think that that book is selling for that much. So then your LCS prices up the book and you could have pre-ordered the book and said, hey, LCS, it's a 1 in 25. I want it for 19.95. And you know, avoided all these things. So that's what we do here at the Secret Variant. And also for you stores who watch me, thank you for watching me. And even though uh, I, I am what you would call that speculator that comes through the door, but I'm also that guy who buys multiple copies and then gives you the ones that I don't buy and tells you to reprice them. So, uh, you know, there's a reason why I'm still loved by my local stores, even though I am who I am. But nonetheless, you guys love me for the reasons that is just my honesty. This is why we're going to do it an honest way here this evening. So the secret variant is where we go over the complete FOC list, front to back, lunar distribution, and previews. So I'm going to cover all the bases. Um, I'm going to tell you some stuff that's due on FOC tomorrow, and then some stuff that's due 11-6-2022. Spoilers are going to be ahead because we are, of course, looking at stuff that comes out in the coming weeks. You know, we got to be ahead of the game. This is the, the trade-off. You know, either you get spoiled a little bit on FOC or you, you, you overpay, you know, and uh, which would you rather do? Our first publisher up this evening is going to be a Blaze Publishing, which is giving us the Lovecraft, the Unknown, Kadath, number three, cover A, Solomon. And here's your cover B, your cover C, your 10 copy Solomon Virgin, your 20 copy Moy Virgin. Cover F, 30 copy, black and white. Omega Red, fight the good fight. Ah, uh, Ahoy Comics, final orders due 10-30-2022. Of course, this is 
My Bad, Volume 2, Number 1. Cover A. And then the cover B. But you know what? There wasn't anything else from Ahoy, which is surprising. But Archie has given us the Betty and Veronica Jumbo Comics Digest Number 309. Okay, so I've showed you this last week, but you know what? We have an update on some of the artwork at least. So final orders due for 10-30-2022 for Artist Elite Comics, giving us the cover A. Tiger Fett, that's a very loaded question, but I am here. I am very happy to have you here with me as well. Uh, Artist Elite presents number five, cover B by Brett Booth, though. Also kicking it with, you know, part two and part three and part two of some of the other Artist Elite stories. Cover C by Ben Temple Smith, but you know what? They pulled the old switcheroo over here on the cover D. So this was not the cover D they showed us last week. But this is definitely the cover D I need in my life. And then here's your 25 copy incentive. That's going to wrap it up for Artist Elite. Artist Writers and Artisans, however, is going to give us the Sacrament number four of the five issue miniseries. Black Caravan orders due next Sunday, 11 6, 2022. So, this is the rest in peace Yule Ghoul one shot. It's in a really odd format, too. So, you know, just figured. All right, but Comics Experience is also on a delayed cover. I don't know what's going on here because this, uh, this book, like FOC, like a while ago, uh, but Saga of a Doom Universe cover G, apparently. Number one, going back for FOC again. Frank Miller Presents, giving us the Ancient Enemies, number one of six. But then they also said, uh, yeah, let's give you Ronin Book 2, number one of six. So, uh, is this going to do anything for the old Ronin books? I'm just nodding my head to the beat. I'm not agreeing with myself. Floating World Comics... Lunar orders due 1030, so tomorrow. That's going to be Crowbar 9, 80 page giant. But you know what? They also got orders due for 11 6, 2022. And this is the Santos Sisters, number three. And apparently, this is a pretty hilarious book. Keen Spot. Quintara Stone, number three, cover A. Quintara Stone, number three, cover B. Cover C. And then this is your five copy incentive variant cover. You know, Tiger Fett, I will have to agree with you on that. <laughs> oh, the poor Dark Knight. Yeah, Dark Knight 2 totally skippable Dark Knight 3 man that was uh, uh, I had the local comic shop day variant though which according to the gargantuan print runs of everything that was out there that was probably one of the shortest printed at like 5,000 Mad Cave Studios giving us Tiger's Tongue number 5 cover A <laughs> Tiger's Tongue number 5 cover B I don't even know if it was 5000 for the local comic shop day that year. Might have been less. Merck Publishing. I showed you this stuff last week, but it's okay. I'll show it to you again because it's John Royal. Yep, there's John Royal's A cover. And uh, that counts as Red Kryptonite, everybody. So just if you're keeping track. Born of Blood, number three, cover B. And then your cover C by Greg Bo Watson. But then here is your cover D, 25 copy of Risque. Here's your 50 copy John Royal variant. And then your 100 copy Watson Risque Foil. And then you've got Death Rage number 5 of 6, cover A. Cover B. The cover C by Mr. Gunn. The 25 copy incentive by Mr. Gunn. The 50 copy Shikari. And then the Shikari Risque Foil. Here we have Oni Press. Giving Agritsuko out to lunch number four of four, which is honestly, um, it was removed. It just disappeared. Pink Lemonade number three was the only one showing there still on FOC, but I, I left it up there just in case it was a typo 
or an error, but check with your lunar distribution places. Oni Press up next week, 11 6, 2022, has Jonah and the Impossible Monsters number 12 of 12. There's the cover B. Here is the Rick and Morty versus Cthulhu, number one of four. So, Rick and Morty has transitioned over to this uh, miniseries format, basically, where they do a whole bunch of miniseries. You know, they've got over 100 issues now, so they'll come back around again, I guess, sometime. Uh, but here is uh, your cover B, your cover C, and then your cover D. Opus, giving us the Eternal Descent number two, cover A. Then there's your five copy incentive. And then this is your Linsner 10 copy incentive variant. Frank Frazetta's Dawn Attack number one of five. So since the Death Dealer five issue miniseries is wrapped up, Dawn Attack is up next. Here is the cover B by Frazetta himself. And you know what? They, they're they missing the opportunity for why this should be a Frazetta incentive variant. Here's your five copy incentive, which I'm not mad at. Dampanosian, you're great. But, hey, Nate, you know what? Not really, but you know what? We're going to fight the good fight and keep on going through because this is what we do. Nate 138th, you are the man for being here. Thanks for showing up, buddy. So here is your cover D, your 10 copy incentive, right? This is the 15 copy incentive by Panosian. Again, not mad at it. Not mad at it. Cover F is your 20 copy. Halloween number two, cover A. Halloween number two, five copy. Mama Comics, good to see you. Hope you and the New York Nirvana girls are doing well. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what, Tiger Fett? That's actually a very, very good thing that you have pointed out right there. Um, the the baby Cthulhu theft that was in the opening scenes of that uh, of the of the show. So uh, yeah. See, this is why I got the smartest chat on the planet. Halloween number two, cover C is your 10 copy incentive. Scoot giving us a uh, Create Comic one shot second printing. For kids of all ages, of course. And then we got Scout Comics coming back in for 10 30, 2022, giving us Locust, Ballad of the Men, Mr. Easton number two. Red Winter Fallout, one of four. Now, this one was supposed to be under Black Caravan. I forgot to move it there. Uh, but this is Black Caravan for tomorrow. And then we have Scout Comics giving us 10... I'm sorry, this is 11.6. This is stuff that's due next Sunday. Uh, Alza the Barbed. Grim Space, number one, cover A. Top connecting. I don't know what that means. And then here's the cover B, bottom connecting variant. So, it is a top and bottom connecting variant. Final orders due for Silver Sprocket 11 6, 2022. Making comic zines one shot. Source Point Press. Cover of Darkness one shot. Origins. Heaven's Reject, number three of four. And then we got Mysterium, number one. Postmasters Live by the Letter, number two. And it's a two of two. Sumerian. Uh, this is stuff that's on FOC next Sunday, actually. So 11-6-2022. Firstborn's number one. There's the cover B. The cover C, we have a five copy incentive, then we have a 10 copy incentive. This is your 20 copy incentive with a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a homage to a Clockwork Orange, if you know what I mean. Purple Oblivion number two, cover A. Purple Oblivion number two, cover B. Titan Comics. So this is Kamen Rider 01. Kamen Rider 01 with a cover B by Derek Chu. Cover C is your photo. Your cover D. Your Glow in the Dark by Grego. 
the cover F blank yellow sketch, the Chew variant, five copy incentive, and then the Copic Inyuk Lee variant, FOC variant. Oh boy. And then here's another FOC variant, the Ragnarok. It's pretty crazy. I don't know what's going on there, but Titan, what are you doing? You're dropping crazy books. Valiant with Bloodshot Unleashed number three. Now you have a cover A, you have this cover B, the cover C, the cover D, which is your action figure variant, and then the cover E is your pre-order bundled edition. Pre-ordered uh, bundled edition is the hardest one to get because I think you had to pre-order at issue one through issues four in order to get it. Something like that. Or your store had to do that. So maybe if you have a smart store, they're ordering the pre-order bundled editions as much as possible. Final orders due 11 6 2022. Blue Flame number 10. Cover A. Blue Flame number 10. Cover B. Yoshi Yoshitani variant. And then back. I know I've seen this cover before. End after end number four. And then Heart Eyes was pulled from last week. So all this is 11 6 stuff. Next Sunday. So you, you'll see that again. Boom Studios with Damn Them All number one going back for a second printing. Here's a second printing, 10 copy incentive variant. Charlie Adler. Eve, Children of the Moon number two. Here is the cover B. Here is the 10 copy incentive. 25 copy incentive. No unlockable, which I thought was weird. Local Comic Shop Day 2022 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TMNT 2 number 1 of 5 Ashcan variant. So, volume 2 of this one's coming around the pipeline, everybody. Get ready. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 101 second printing Dan Mora variant. Manhanini on the cover A of 102. Oh, 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 oh. Jenny Frisian doing the Ranger Slayer. Back again. Uh, here is your 10 copy incentive. This is your 25 copy sketch with like a light haze pink down by the coin, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Ranger's Lair. And then here is the unlockable variant to go along with it. There's this cover F, which is another one of those BG variants. This is your by Pendergast. Channeling his Peach Momoko. Astro Wizard. Good to see you. Orcs, the curse number four. I'm pretty sure this was on FOC last week and it got pushed back again because the Skinner cover is also the FOC. I'm sorry, the uh, the 10 copy incentive variant. Uh, stuff of Nightmares number two, second printing. That's some Stuff of Nightmares for sure. Here's the cover A for issue three. The cover B. And then the cover C. 25 copy. Then the 50 copy, which I don't know what the difference is going to be once it hits, but we'll find out, I guess, on release day. And then here is your cover FFOC reveal variant. The unlockable Franco Villa sketch. Buffy, the, I'm sorry, the Vampire Slayer Buffy, number eight. The cover B. And then there's a 10 copy and a Nito. And a 25 copy incentive by Pepper. There's also a 50 copy, apparently. Looks exactly like the 25. Somehow, some way, I bet you one of them will have a trade dress. One of them probably won't. Or one will be regular virgin. One will be foil. No details were given. But this is an interesting one from Dark Horse. I have a feeling this one will probably be chased. Local Comic Shop Day 2022 Quick Stops number one of four. Parasomnia Dreaming God number four of four. Parasomnia Dreaming God number four of four cover B. Star Wars Hyperspace Stories number three of 12. Star Wars Hyperspace Stories number 3 of 12, cover B. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's back this up. So, we got text on here. So, this appears to be a, uh, you know, Finn story. Finn and Poe. Poe Finn. Dynamite Entertainment dropping a hellacious size uh, FOC list this week, so... Sirens Gate number two. You got a 10 copy incentive. And that's all. What? I don't know what's up with that anomaly from from Dynamite there, but that's that's true. 
Unbreakable Red Sony number two cover A, the cover B, the cover C. There's your D. Here's your E. There's your F. Your Perillo tint. Your Finch black and white. Your 20 copy cosplay. Your 25 copy Mattioni Virgin. 30 copy Selena Virgin. Cover L Perillo Limited Virgin. They didn't show the cover M, but they did show you the N. And the O. And the P. Q. R. No S. There's some T. Uh, <laughs> cover U. <laughs> copy 10 copy incentive. And cover V. Uh, the 10 copy Panosian Virgin variant. So we're on a Vampirella Strikes number 7 cover A. There's the cover B. Cheeky. Uh, cover C. The cover D by Caldwell. The cover E cosplay. The cover F 10 copy. The cover G 15 copy. The cover H 20 copy. The cover I 25 copy. The cover J. Cover K Perillo Limited Virgin. The cover L the Yoon Limited Virgin. The cover M 7 copy. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not even a. It's a FSC Perillo Ultraviolet. There's your seven copy Perillo tinted. This is your seven copy Caldwell black and white. This is your 10 copy Perillo ultraviolet. This is your cover Q 10 copy FOC incentive U black and white. This is your cover R 15 copy incentive Nebreeze modern. IDW entertainment giving us crashing number four. There's your cover B. Here's your cover C and no incentive for that. So they only give you those three, which is weird. My Little Pony Classics Reimagined, Little Phillies number two, cover A, A, cover B. And then they call this cover C, 10 copy incentive. Star Trek Resurgence number two, cover A. There's the cover B. The 10 copy incentive by Sparrow. TMNT Armageddon Game Alliance number two. Oh, I'm sorry. TMNT Armageddon Game The Alliance. See? Uh, when they omit the words from previews, it really sucks. Uh, but here's your cover B to go along with that one. And then here is the cover C 10 copy incentive variant. Transformers Shatterglass 2 number five. Cover A by Griffith. Cover B by Kershaw. And then here is the 10 copy incentive. Yeah, I'll probably be chasing those down eventually. Image. Creep show number three. There's your cover B by Franco Villa. And your 10 copy incentive. Department of Truth number 22, cover A. The cover B is actually a 25 copy incentive by Christian Ward. And then here is the 50 copy incentive by Simmons. 8 billion genies, number 6 of 8, with a cover A and a cover B. Hitomi, number 2 of 5, cover A. The cover B. Magic Order, number... I'm sorry, Magic Order 3, number 5. There's the cover B. There's the cover C. No incentive, which was weird. Spawn, Scorch, number 12, cover A. And then the cover B. Vanish, cover A for issue three. Here is your cover B, and you know they went ham. There's a the cover C, blank sketch. The cover D, 10 copy Connor. The cover E, 25 copy Stegman Virgin. The 50 copy Johnson Virgin. And uh, did, did, did somebody give him a hand? The 75 copy incentive Connor Virgin. And then the 100 copy incentive, Daniel Warren Johnson Raw. The 1 in 250 copy, Rod Stegman Raw. There's also going to be a foil variant, which they didn't show us the artwork for, so be on the lookout for that one. What's the furthest place from here? Number 8, cover A. The cover B. And then here is the 25 copy incentive. 
I didn't see anything about a vinyl. Nothing. Final orders due for DC Comics 1030 2022. We updated the list with a couple of uh, changes. Uh, Action Comics 1049. There's your cover A. There's the Zerdy cardstock variant cover. So this was the, the solicit, right? And the, the S is not for Superman. The S is just for symmetrical. Here's your 25 copy incentive. And who is that red kryptonite in the back? Anyway. Batman Fortress number 7, cover A. Batman Fortress number 7, cover B. Batman the Auto Adventures number 3, cover A. And then the all red card stock variant. Blue Beetle Graduation Day number one, cover A. And then here is the cover B by Cully Hamner. It's a card stock variant cover. But however, they are not done with you that they gave you a 25 copy Raphael Albuquerque card stock variant cover. There's also this 50 copy incentive by David Marquez. Cover E is your Spanish language version. Wow. Primos making uh, making the big boys do some moves too with that Spanish uh, version selling right, and then here is the cover F for the foil version. Dark Crisis, the Dark Army number one. That's your cover A. Tomb. Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Dark Crisis, the Dark Army number one. Cover B. Dark Crisis, the Dark Army number one. Cover C. And the cover D is your 25 copy incentive foil. DC Horror presents Sergeant Rock versus the Army of the Dead. So you got a cover A, you got a cover B by Frank Avia, you got a 25 copy incentive. DC Mech number 5 of 6, cover A, the cover B by Dan Mora. The cover C is your 25 copy incentive by Ricardo Lopez, Ortiz. And then this is your 50 copy Mora cardstock variant cover. Another one. DC vs. Vampires number 11, cover A. DC vs. Vampires number 11, cover B. Zerdy. And then the, the freakiest plastic man I've ever seen. DC's Grifter got run over by Reindeer number one one shot. Thanks, Harley. Deathstroke Incorporated number 15 with a cover A. There's your cover B. And then this is your 25 copy incentive. Detective Comics 1066, cover A, Evan Cagle. Cover B, the 90s cardstock variant, getting the, oh, they're all pink this month for whatever reason. I don't, I don't understand it, but it's whatever they chose. Uh, Detective Comics 1066, cover D is your 25 copy incentive, Colleen Duran. And then this is your 50 copy, J.H. Williams the third. Harley Quinn number 24, cover A. Cover B by Vermejo. And then the John Boy Myers 90s month. Uh, I don't think there was trade dress out of the, the, that one, but that's fine. There's a 25 copy incentive by Leslie Leary Lee, which is going to be made easy thanks to a 50 copy incentive going to be scooped up by others. That's also not bad. Like, that's good looking Harley. This was a late ad. Local comic shop day. Batman and the Joker Deadly Duo number one foil cardstock variant. Foil cardstock variant cover. And it's Sylvester? Yeah. Punchline, the Gotham game number two, cover A. The cover B by Derek Chu. The cover C by Sozo Micah. The cover D, which is your 25 copy incentive by Dan Hip. The 50 copy incentive by Nakayama. And, uh, yeah, uh, as mentioned last week in the chat. Shout out to you. For making sure I don't miss this stuff when it, when it goes down. He said there was a 1 in 100 in the chat. So, 1 in 100 Sozo Michael Foil cardstock variant cover of Punchline. Good luck. Uh, Tim Drake Robin, number 3, cover A by Riley Rosmo. The cover B by Dan Mora. And then here is your 90s Todd Nauk. And then this is your 25 copy. That's your Rion Gonzalez 50 copy incentive. Okay. Wildstorm 30th Anniversary Special Number 1 One-Shot Cover A by Jim Lee. 
Sozo Micah with the late ad, but oh, open order. They know exactly what they're doing here. The Sozo Micah Wildstorm 30th Anniversary Special Number 1, cover B. There's also this cover C, which again has a lot of the Wildstorm characters on it. The Zealot by Joshua Middleton. I mean, this is Middleton doing Middleton. And then Jim Lee, of course. It wouldn't be a Wildstorm without uh, Caitlin Fairchild, right? Red Kryptonite, Red Kryptonite, Red Kryptonite. Uh, but yep, there we go. And then uh, the Death Blow cover by Bermejo. The M Midnighter and Apollo is the 25 copy incentive glow in the dark variant. Geek out with Roscoe, bro. Good to see you, man. I hope I uh, hope you're doing well, brother. Uh, Wildstorm 30th anniversary special one shot is getting a 50 copy Sozo Mica foil variant of Voodoo, though. So, yeah, everybody, welcome to the Wildstorm. So, uh, welcome back, right? Jim Lee 90s image comics. Whew. I've already sold my Killer Instinct crossover foils. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Tiger Fett. The Middleton Zealot is awesome because it's Middleton doing what Middleton does best. So, Young Justice giving you the targets number five of six with a cover A by Christopher Jones. And then here is your cover B by Megan Hetrick. DC Final Orders next Sunday, however. Let me spice it up for you. Batgirls Annual 2022, number one. Here is the Batman number 130 cover A. Hey man, you know the back, uh, the back doesn't hurt as much as my soul right now. Let's just put it that way. But uh, brother, thank you for checking in on me, man. Um, I, I've been good there. I've been building strength. I actually got a BMX bike and started riding and shit. So uh, yeah, you know, trying to, trying to, trying to live. Batman 130 cover B with a Gabriel Del Auto cardstock variant cover. The cover C is the Stefan Sejic cardstock variant cover. So this is obviously not finished artwork, but uh, it's obviously a Batman Christmas. A Bat Family Christmas, at least. Um, yeah. So here is your cover D. And then here is your Marquez variant cover. Apparently him and Phil Safe are still going at it. Uh, the Jock 50 copy incentive, of course, is probably going to be a gold foil. Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo, number 207, cover A by Mark Silvestri. The cover B by Kelly Jones. The cover C also by Kelly Jones with a Joker variant. The 25 copy incentive by Yannick Paquette. 100 copy incentive. So look, there's a lot of covers. There's a cover E. There's no F, which is probably going to be your 50 copy. But here's your 100 copy incentive variant. Batman Nightwatch number four cover. Just any cover A. There is no cover Bs, it looks like, on that one. Batman Urban Legends number 22 with a cover A by Jamal Campbell. This is your cover B by Travis Mercer. This is Batman Urban Legends cover C, Hayden Sherman. Brave and the Bold number 28 with a facsimile edition. Dark Crisis War Zone number one, one shot with a Raphael Sarmento. Here's the cover B. Geek Filter, just thank you for stopping by when you had time. I appreciate you checking in with us and hope you can catch the rewind in the future. Dark Crisis War Zone number one, one shot. Cover C, of course, with a 25 copy incentive. This is Deceased War of the Undead Gods number five of eight. Cover A by Howard Porter. Ben Oliver, everybody. Like, look, okay, I know everybody's like, Jeff to call this, Jeff to call that, especially if you're a shill. Um, you know, I love Jeff to call's work, but Ben Oliver is superior. I said it. Deceased War of the Undead Gods, number five, cover C, Cal New, Acetate, Cardstock, Baron Cover. They're different styles, let's just be honest. Ben Oliver is way more like on the realistic side. Uh, Deceased War of the Undead Gods, number five of eight, cover D, Incentive. This is... A sick Green Lantern cover if you're into Zombified Green Lantern. Brad Selden. And Mojo Quid. Sorry, you guys snuck in without me seeing. DC War of the Undead Gods number 5. Cover E. 50 copy. Kamunaki. Cardstock variant. 
Detective Comics 2022 Annual Number 1. Gotham City Year 1 Number 3. And then here's the cover B by Greg Smallwood. Gotham City Year 1 Number 3. Cover C. 25 copy incentive. Okay. Everybody heard recently the rewriting of the HBO Max series. Like, I hope they didn't go full woke, which, you know, is a highly likelihood they did. Uh, look, I love Jon Stewart. Early on, Jon Stewart pointed out some very big things in DC Comics where, but he was using words like whitey and, you know, all sorts of other stuff. So, I don't know what they're doing with the push for Jon Stewart, but they have made him super OP, almost parallax lately. Like, parallax, as you know, was when Hal Jordan went completely ham and basically killed everybody. Um, Zero Hour was another one of the crossovers that was a result of Hal Jordan doing his parallax thing. Now, let me, oh, shoot, I went backwards. So, what I'm saying here is uh, HBO has a. Green Lantern movie with Jon Stewart in it where he's trying to get the ring off. He doesn't want the ring at all. Um, no, you didn't miss the Marvel yet, James. You're good. You're good. Uh, but uh, I watched it, but they showed Parallax in that one. It was basically Sinestro barfed up Parallax. And then Parallax inhabited Hal Jordan's body and he made made Sinestro his bitch. Uh, you know, and it was... It... <sighs> Please don't do that. We need... We really need... Guy Gardner and Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. We need all the GLs of Earth. And then to give us the new stuff like the Far Sector Chick. Right? And then the Teen Lantern. And, and all this other stuff. But no. We had... Jon Stewart was a big deal in Green Lantern Volume 2 from DC. For me. Or it might have been Volume 3 because it would have been 80s. Uh, I can't remember now. Stop reading that stuff a long time ago. But this right here. This cover B, this is crazy looking. So he's your Emerald Knight now. And then here's your 25 copy incentive cane and white cardstock variant cover. Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number three, cover A. The Lee Bermejo cardstock variant cover, just in time for Christmas. Cover C, Felipe Masferera. Masfera. Rafael Sarmento on the cover D. Larry Joe, it's all good, my man. I was just praising you for reminding me that there was a Sozo Micah variant. But it's all good, my man. I, I went live a day early, so I know you probably weren't looking out for me anyway. All gravy, brother, but thanks for stopping by. Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number three, cover D, Rafael Sarmento. Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number three, cover E, 25 copy incentive. Justice Society of America, number one, cover A, Mikhail Janin. So this is a push from last week, actually. Just Society with the 90s mother, uh, 90s month multi-level embossed cardstock foil cover. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's your 25 copy Jerry Ordway cardstock variant. Eh, you know, it's not, it's not bad, but it's Ordway. But what is going on with that Robin in the bottom corner there? What is that? Did Jerry Ordway ever finish Wildstar at Image? I gotta read that stuff. I gotta go back and check that out. 25 copy Jerry Ordway again. Monkey Prince number 9 of 12, cover A, Bernard Chang. Monkey Prince number 9, cover B by Inyuk Lee, where he, he, well, he's obviously hot for Supergirl. I mean, obviously, she's an alpha female. Uh, here is your cover D, 25 copy incentive. New champion of Shazam number 4. Cover A. Oh. Paging Mel V. Mr. Snell, thank you for that. But uh, flattery will get you everything. Um, so, everybody remind Mighty Mel V that the new champion of Shazam has probably their best Rose Besh cover to date. I mean, it's kind of cool. I, I may, be, may be stretching it with the best one to date, but it's cool. Here's a 25 copy incentive by Tula Lote, though. And I know one straight up loser is going to be like, oh my God, it's a bubblegum cover. But don't worry, I got something coming for him and his buddies. Uh, Nightwing 2022, annual number one. Nubia and the Justice League special, number one, one shot. So the big push is on for Nubia. 
Here is the Mateus Manhanini cardstock variant cover. He continues to deliver art just on the regular. Here is the Joshua Swabby Sway Nubia 50th anniversary cardstock. <laughs> shill, baby, shill. So uh, this would be the decoy that I would set up outside of Long Short, outside of Steve Horn and Nico's, and uh, just to let them know that I was around. And if you and if you, you see a, a, a good looking redhead in a shirt that says "Shill Baby Shill," that might be my wife, or or the one uh, that's uh, taking applications right now. Um, so, what's up, everybody? Did you miss my hate? Uh, I still hate the Shillers because. You know, it, the one thing that saddens me the most is that people that I once thought were completely independent of the knowledge of things that were going on with these guys, how they were, you know, price fixing books and, and making it look like stuff was selling for $2,000. But, uh, yeah, everybody's cool with them still. So, Jeffrey Albertson didn't do shit except for ruin Nico, and Nico's just been in, the, in hiding lately. And, they're, and it's like these guys are, like, just waiting in there and festering like an infection that just never goes away and comes back and bubbles to the surface shill baby shill everybody middleton however on the cardstock variant cover cover c leslie lee Ree lee she's great 25 copy incentive dan panosian cardstock variant cover superman kyle l return special number one one shot cover a dan mora cover b by travis moore the cover C is the 25 copy incentive. And it's not so great. It's symmetrical, though. Did you guys notice that? <laughs> the S's are perfectly, uh, you know, centered. Uh, Sword of Azrael number 5, cover A. Sword of Azrael number 5, cover B. Sword of Azrael number 5, cover C, 25 copy incentive. Waller versus Wildstorm pushed again. This is the third time this thing's been pushed back on an FOC list. Uh, so, wonder what's going on inside of that one. But they only show two covers, which means there's only there's not going to be any variants for that one, which is wild. <laughs> That's right, Omar V knows the deal. Here's the Marvel list, everybody. So, smash that like button. This is the final segment of our show. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. Week in, week out. I don't even know how many weeks consecutively I've done the secret variant. But I feel like it's been more than a year straight. Maybe almost two. Avengers number 63. Avengers number 63 with the Riley variant. Avengers number 63 with the Jimenez 70s Avengers Assemble Connect variant. Avengers number 63 Momoko variant. Captain America Sentinel of Liberty number seven. And for whatever reason, they said, you know what? Let's 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 do, let's go big. Let's go big, everybody. Captain America Sentinel of Liberty number seven, Jeff Scott Campbell anniversary variant. Captain America Sentinel of Liberty number seven Weta variant. And the 100 copy incentive. So here you go. Here's your virginized. And then what they did is they did a retro style. So I have a feeling this retro variant is going to get mixed in with the other variants and randomly show up in there. So somebody's going to look out and get a fucking 200 copy incentive. If you're around one of those big stores that order like gargantuan amounts of Captain America. Captain Marvel number 44. And isn't this a great cover? Like Gambit, why'd you have to be on there to ruin the cover? Like all the ladies were doing just fine without you. But, you know what, this cover makes up for it, for the most part, except for Gambit again in the background there, but he's keeping an eye on Rogue. I, I, as a man, I, 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 Gambit, I understand, but you know what, also, uh, yeah, you're a lucky dude, because look at all that. Segovia. And Momoko's is not bad either, but Captain Marvel 44 apparently got a lot going on. Damage Control number 5 of 5. Daredevil number 6. Here's the Kendrick Lim demonized variant cover. So I don't know what's going on with these demonized variants, but apparently it's a theme. Will you be collecting the theme? Daredevil number six, Momoko variant. Dark Web number one. Dark Web number one with the Baldeon variant. Oh. 
Dark Web number one with the Gomez. Sorry, I gotta check this message just to make sure it's not important. Dark Web number one, like I said, with the Gomez, right? So, lots going on here. Uh, Queen Goblin? Goblin Queen? Uh, that redesign over there on the left? And uh, Gold Goblin? And then here you have your Peach Momoko variant. This is the Beyond Amazing Spider-Man variant cover. PlayStation Spider-Man. The 25 copy incentive Stegman wraparound. Probably going to be in abundance. Just saying. Yeah, so there's probably going to be a ton of those uh, store exclusives out there. 100 copy incentive Kubert Virgin variant cover. So I guess it's a flip book because half the image is upside down. But that's your 100 copy incentive, everybody. Then we're on to Fantastic Four number two with Alex Ross doing inners as well as covers. Here's the Alex Ross variant cover showing... Phew, damn. That's a milkshake thick Sue Storm. Namor and uh, and Victor know, know the deal. <laughs> Sorry, Reed. Uh, Fantastic Four with the Momoko variant. And then here is the Zulo variant cover. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, back up. These cat variants. These are going to be the books... Kind of like some of the other stuff that a certain speculator that I like to refer to as a promoter because he's not really a speculator. He just promotes the shit out of the stuff his friends has. Um, this is the kind of book that nobody orders that becomes rare that somebody will do a report on later on and be like, nobody ordered these. These are fantastic though. And then convince some people to spend four to five times cover. Um, don't fall for that. If you like the cat covers, collect the cat covers, but this 25 copy incentive by Phil Noto is far superior. Here's the Ghost Rider number nine. Wow. So this is the dude who was doing the spawn covers. Barons, I believe. The Momoko variant. And then a 25 copy incentive, Luke Ross. Mortal X-Men number nine. And what in the hell gave Sinister the keys to Cable's arsenal? Because that is some high-tech weaponry he's got there. Yep, there it is. Omar's got it. Uh, Immortal X-Men number 9 with the Quiet Council variant by Phil Noto as well. And then, okay. As far as Quanon goes, this is top tier. So as you guys know, there was a spec matrix way, way back that pointed out the first full appearance of this girl as Psylocke is actually in the Uncanny X-Men from 2019, number 16. Where she comes back and gives this dude the psychic knife to the dome piece. It was pretty awesome. Or she cut off somebody's head. Yeah, that's right. She cut off the clone of Magneto's head. This is when they were cleaning up the cannon. It was pretty awesome. Uh, but she, uh, you know, Betsy Braddock, apparently, you know, remember, left her body and then died, came back. But Immortal X-Men is going to give you this 25 copy Art Adams variant. Marauders number nine with a Momoko regular cover. <laughs> Dan Jurgens on the Marauders number nine variant cover. So this is, this is where Marvel Editorial been like, yo, what's up with that hair? Her hair is purple. Keep it one color. <laughs> Miles Morales Spider-Man number one. So, so here's the thing. Have they omitted his new costume finally and gone back to the old correct duds? Here is a very wicked looking Bengal connecting variant cover. And of course, check out the... Cat Spider crossover. Remember her? Miles Brow Spider Man blank cover. There we have the Peach Momoko variant. Costume variant. So there's the costume B. So what's up with this? Do they have costumes? Switching? Is one of them a wetsuit? Zulo Cat variant. Koi Pell variant. 
The graffiti by Del Mundo is pretty awesome, I gotta say. This one, however, the Torn Clark variant is probably taking the cake. 25 copy incentive by Vincentini. Not bad, but it's definitely not the other ones. 100 copy incentive by Koi Pell. Not bad. Boom in the house. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number one of five. And yes, I did see the reprint of issue number one doing insane things. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number one of five. However, the volume two, she's grown up a little bit, it looks like. They're trying to age her up. Here's your Bradshaw variant cover. There is your Momoko variant, so geek out with Roscoe can take a shot. And here is your Scotty Young variant. 25 copy incentive. Not great. I don't think it's going to be one of those other than people are going to push it. Oh, it's rare. Marvel Tales Origins number one. Now, this is interesting because Amazing Fantasy 15, Avengers number one, X-Men number one, and Fantastic Four number one. 50 copy incentive variant is going to be a version of that. But there's also going to be, better drink up again, Roscoe, your Peach Momoko variant. Oh, yeah, then they do this thing, this cat variant. Predator number five. Predator number five getting a Greg Land variant cover. And then the Tan 25 copy incentive. Yo, Tan needs to do more covers. Okay. As far as design goes, I love the look of this book, but I hate the story. The story's dumb. Uh, Punisher in the hand. Yeah, no, come on. This is, this is, this is bad. But here's your Sway variant. And then Secret Invasion number two of five. Dave Johnson giving you a variant cover here. And then the Ruan variant cover. Spider-Man number three. And of course, there is your Night Spider once again. The Beyond Spider-Man variant. Then the Marco Cicchetto variant cover. And then the 25 copy incentive for Ramos. I know, where, where's our Predator Cat variant, right? But the 25 copy incentive by Ramos does fit the bill for a lot of people trying to chase Black Cat related covers. And originally thought to be canceled, but absolutely not. Here is Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 29. The Attack of the Clones 20th Anniversary variant cover. The Hidden Empire number 2 of 5. Here is the Cummings Connecting variant for that one. And then the Shalvi Battle variant. The 25 copy Incentive Lopez Travel variant, which... Uh, okay. Thor number 29. Thor number 25, 29 with a 25 copy incentive Salvador La Roca variant. And look. Thor with Valkyrie and it's Jane Foster are probably books you want to be picking up. Thor number 29, Andrew's Miracle Man variant. And then the Koi Pell MCU variant cover. Yeah, I kind of want this one. Tiger Division number two of five. Tiger Division number two of five with the Yoon Demonized variant cover. And then here is the Ron Lim trading card artwork, which they'll have trading card trade dress on it somehow. The Yoon 25 copy incentive. OT Jones, have you not seen Love and Thunder yet? The only way Jane Foster comes back to the MCU is as Valkyrie and people who are sleeping on Jane Foster Valkyrie books obviously haven't been watching me for the last year. And also, the Runa name is still in play. And I want to point out, Runa the Elf was named after the Asgardian goddess. Does it have to be any more plainly simple? For you guys to understand that our Valkyrie in the MCU is Runa, the goddess. She's a god, just like Thor. Anyway, Tiger Division 25 copy incentive, and then we have the cat variant for you. Look, I'm a cat dad, but I don't, I don't like cat comics that much. Variants. No, I'm sorry, let's go back to this one, because Phil Noto obviously doing his, his good work here. Variants number five of five. 
No variant covers for variants. No Peach Momoko variant for you, Roscoe. I'm sorry. X-Force number 35. And, of course, here we've got Maverick and Beast and uh, Blackmore. That uh, guy that was introduced over there in Wolverine. This Tony Daniel variant cover, however, nice. And Omega Red on X-Force. Kind of wild to think about, right? There is this Klein Stormbreakers variant cover that was not shown. X-Men Red number 9 with Abigail Brand being in the forefront of things. You got to understand, she's coming around. She's not a good person. She's not a good person. Look at her breaking Storm in half. The Torrin Clark Erico variant cover delivering as always. And then the X-Men Red number 9 demonized variant cover, I believe. Oh, nope. 25 copy incentive. So here is your Chavrin variant. And guess what, everybody? That's our show. So I want to thank you guys for sticking with me through thick and thin, through fighting for right, no matter how plight the the fight seems. You know? Because uh, I, I just don't get it how people keep supporting complete shill bags in this industry when you have the honesty and integrity that is the Ultra Maximus here. So, uh, yeah, give those guys the middle finger if you're at Baltimore and tell them to watch out for the hot redhead wearing the Shill Baby Shill shirt because uh, if, if one of them sees it, I'm likely to be on the rafters, you know, taking a whiz down on top of them. Uh, either that or I'm going to drop from the rafters like Sting. And for Halloween, where are the two Sting masks? Again, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, smash that like button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for notifications for when we go live. If you subscribe, I'll see you all next week.